Yep, it works. Step both counts. Oh, Hobbs. <sighs> October 30th, 1990. Uh, in this video, uh, Dad was demoing. We're starting now, but Dad was demoing a uh, Klaus Dominator 116. I think's the number on the side of it. Do you remember much about it? Is that what it was, 116? I think that's what it said. Inside. Well, <coughs> it had tracks on it. Goofy looking tracks. <laughs> and it was just a track. Just two tracks, no tires in the back. Oh, let's see that. It was real long. Who was the dealer you guys had? This? Well, it was uh, uh, Holt Rafakis. Yeah, oh, they were a Klaus Yeah, dealer. they was a Klaus dealer. That's one. Well, they never sold anything, but they was, I don't know why, but some way they was trying to get hooked up with them. Or so my uncle off. that was a dealer for them, was he the one that Yeah, yeah he, he worked out to where they got down here. Had eight row head. Was that big for the time? Uh, yeah, there wasn't big 12 rows around. I'm sure there was, they made them yet then, but uh, there wasn't too many. And it handled it fine, but it was, uh, as you can see, that corn was a little green, but it was dry. The stalks were dry, and if I remember right, the seemed like it, the problem, it would lay the fluffy, it'd get fluffy on the head and just lay there. And it was kind of a problem. That's the kind of way the John Deere heads were back then, too. Well, this would be I your had. first year on the John Deere, too, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. So it was about daylight and dark. And I think the extensions must have opened up as it, the corn come in it. Because you can see they're starting to open up, it looks like. That's weird. Yeah. I don't know. My Uncle John was running, I suppose. Did you run it much? Yeah, I run it there. That's where I was. Yeah, I run it down there. But unless your mom was filming that, I don't know. I doubt it. But it's quite a machine. I, I believe it had five cylinders in it, I believe. And I think it had walkers behind the cylinders. I, I, I can't remember. I guess we should have looked on the internet to see, try to research it first. Yeah, typical spur of the moment around here. Yeah. Do you remember what kind of motor? Was it a cat motor? I think it was Mercedes. Mercedes. I think it was Mercedes. Right behind the, the engine was right behind the cab. Uh, it had the Cebus in it. It yeah, was a little, yeah. it was a little different. It was real low, I believe. I don't know if you tell that. It's real. See, this is what they call the modern Klaus combine yeah. today. It's real low, but you can see if, if the tracks are my God, they're long. I think kind of looks like a spaceship. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't look like a combine. <clears throat> How did it ride with those kind of tracks? Do you remember? Uh, it seemed yeah, good. I think I'd just like anything, those or anything. Seems like any time you'd go over a, a... Yeah, it would, but not so much as that, as long as it was, as long as they were. Okay. I mean, uh, Looks like he's going pretty fast. Right? Yeah, it was moving right along, but it was just, the corn was laying on the head there. Getting, Is that why it's speeding up, trying to push the corn? Uh, right? I don't know. He did a good job, seemed like. We did run, we run corn with it. And you, you can a, see we're switched over to beans. The bean now, head, did, it, did it? Did they sell many of those? I don't know if they sold it. Oh well, yeah, there's one down way where they're sitting down there, in the weeds down there outside the school. Well, I think uh, but it didn't have tracks, but it. I think my buddy Tyler, Tyler, if you're watching, maybe comment on this, but I think he said his dad had a Klaus combine at one time. I think there were some around. Yeah, there were some. He around. said it was green like this. Yeah, they're talking about painting them green and red again. Does it say Commander or Dominator? Dominator. The Dominator, I believe. It's wild looking. Looks yeah, heavy. It's, it was pretty heavy. Yeah. Looks it's all steel. The stat or the unload all was like the old gleaner kind of well, not like the gleaner. But I don't I can't remember if I had straw walkers. They were running there beans. we are running beans. The bean head was it was tilted down so much and it picked up dirt so bad because that was Clarence's and that was 30 inch rows where he culvated and had a lot of clods on it and boy it just sucked up dirt but we run it down I run it down the farm where we was doing corn that field down there did that whole field you just had to watch I think John's running it there yeah you 
What size head would that be? That looks like. Oh, I'd say it's 25 foot probably. It's pretty good size. What is that? What jump I got? Jump I got? Oh, yeah, it was okay until we plugged it up. <laughs> plugged it up. It sucked so much dirt in there, and it just plugged it all up. And that for, the, for those of you that haven't watched some of the other history videos, my uncle John was my dad's brother. Him and dad were 50-50 partners until he passed away. So right now he's the one running the combine, dad's running the camera. That was in the Bog River Bog, that's the first year down there, I think. Yeah. That's wild looking. Yeah, it, it, you can see the dust, boy, it was dusty, boy, sucking up all, picking well, up all that dirt. What uh Had a rock trap on it. Remember that, because we tried to clean it out there. What kind of uh, acres would you have been farming at this time? Uh, well, that first year we rented that farm over there. About 3,000? Yeah, yeah, probably right there. Maybe not quite that 2,500 there, maybe. Okay. Huh. You know, beans were pretty clean. Of course, those was, like I say, it was clearances, and he they cultivated everything twice. I think, uh... 30 inch rows. You remember what kind of yields? 40 bushel? Oh, product? no, they was 50, 60 bushel. No, no, I haven't used I just love to do this and watch it. Hell, I can't drive a at the same time. I can't keep renting or do it, it seems like. But I just love to take pictures of equipment and then sit back and learn time watch it. Camera guys are coming up, sir. I think Dad forgot he was uh, going to start talking. But here are demoing a 9650 John Deere. This is when they first came out the first STS, out. wasn't it? Yeah, the STS, Dick Graham, Brown, it put brought one down, it was like a company and it was going around the state and he so drove it John Deere's from, Yeah, he drove it from Georgetown up to here. And it had, uh, I'd say it might have been a 30 foot head. Maybe more. I might have filmed that one with this video camera instead of the big one. Uh, I know, I know. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably so, yeah. So this is where, like this combine looks more like a, lot more. Well, like, like you are today. Yeah, it I mean, like it, it's a, it was a, you know, 9650, isn't it? There's a lot of the 70s series around, and I don't know if that's the latest until he went to the S. But it was, you know, it was a lot different. I mean, John there said they'd never go to a rotor, I think, but it was a rotor. And so this is the first rotor? First rotor John there had. Oh, okay, so I, th I, okay, I didn't realize that. Yeah, this was took the replacement of the uh, Max 95s, miners. yeah, Max Miners, 9500s, 9620s, 10s. Yeah. How big of a, at this time you were running 90s. We had 95, 29,500. So how big of an upgrade was this, you think? Uh, I mean, oh, like it was. It, was it a huge night and day difference? Or? Oh, I don't know. It just had a bigger head and, and uh, made quieter and everything smoother. The walkers didn't get to shaking in it. It was smooth. Did it clean them up as well? Or? Clean them up pretty good. Yeah, you can't tell my difference there, I don't think. Less moving parts. But then you switched to a class with more moving parts. <laughs> Well, I guess you can say that, but uh, so far so good. They all break down. But I noticed this one doesn't have any bin extensions. But it no, out. back then they didn't. Uh, the ones I had, I put. Uh, everybody put the Mauer extension on, I believe. Yeah, what? Uh, I don't remember how much it drained that to hell. What kind of monitor would have been in this thing? Uh, this was a green. Uh, they have yield monitors then, or were they just green star? No, I had, that might have been some of the first yield barn. I remember on my 95, 20 or 10, one of the last ones, I had a, it was a yield monitor on the end of the grain spout, unload auger. And you calibrate how much it unloaded and put the acres and it counted the acres and that's how it calibrated it. And every time you unload, it would calibrate and give you the yield. Back in action. That corn down and the divide dirt. It's not very good to look like it offshore. But I remember the John Deere well, guy. I was a year of drought. Yeah, it was dry that year. I remember that was a drought year, yeah. yeah. And uh, they, like I say, demoed it all over the state. Somebody didn't put the rotor covers back on it, right? And all that chaff, we opened it up, and my God, all that chaff, it went up, clear up over top the rotors underneath there, and all that. And I know the John Deere guy, I had my uh, truck, and I just got that with that old air compressor and he blew that thing out by old compressor out. He was all day blowing it out. My God, it was dirty. Now you're doing some great camera work here. Well, you carry that big thing around. Oh, that's what <laughs>
That little one, I guess. I don't know. There's a deer. A couple deer. Another one. Yep, there they go. There's a highway in the middle of that field now. Yeah, there's 35 around to see that field now. The house is all gone. I Probably it's... started right around this time, too. Uh, talking about it, I think, yeah. I think it was talking. Was it built in, what, 2002? Something like one? that. Something like that. There's that green cart we haven't figured out. We're trying to figure out what grain cart that is. I swear that is not our Frontier grain cart. I think we must have had two Frontier carts. The that Frontier got black cart, extensions. I would have been nine years old at this time, and I can remember when we got that Frontier grain cart, because I ran the Kill Brothers we had before. And I knew I wasn't running the grain cart enough time. I don't think they brought one with them. George was in there. He's telling a story about when they brought the head up for this thing. He pulled it through Waverly, yeah. knocked down every road cone right in the middle of the construction zone. Yeah, down yeah, Waverly, we up piped it. And Waverly, yeah, Waverly, really he's doing that. And, uh, Look at that expert load. Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, we've had both heads, and uh, Dick had a kind of a detour, and mine got a narrow road. We made it. That's uh, all the combine demo footage we've found so far. We're still going through some tapes. We even found some old Super 8s. I don't know if we've got any Super 8 footage. I know we've got at least one more, uh, one more uh, tape with some farm footage on it we're probably putting out. But that's going to be it for this video. In the last video, I forgot to do the uh, channel shout out at the end of it, and with this being uh, like an old Klaus Dominator, an older John Deere combine, kind of seems right to do a uh, big tractor power for the shout out. Go ahead and check him out if you like uh, farm equipment. He has over a thousand videos on various different types of farm equipment. He travels around and films people, so if you're into farm equipment, check him out. I'll put the channel card here or here or one of these corners. But thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farm Videos and Facebook at Brown Farms, and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, I think I could vlog with this thing. I don't know how wide the lens is, though. Got autofocus.